Sharp Game here. I'm coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Somebody asked me a question yesterday, to be exact. They want to know, how did I learn the game? Where did it start from? Where are my biggest lessons? And who taught me? And where did I begin to learn everything that I speak about in, what, over 500 videos that I've done since I've had this channel? I got almost 600 videos on here. So they said, where did, this, where did all this come from? Where, do, where does it stem from? All my experiences and everything. Well, for me, man, my beginnings, everything started with my parents. Really, that's where everything started from. I mean, uh, I didn't learn nothing from, I learned very little from the streets. And I didn't learn anything from the television, almost nothing. As a matter of fact, most of the stuff that I saw on television that I tried to model after, none of that stuff worked. Almost none of it benefited me. Stuff that I saw on television, talk shows, movies, none of that stuff works, worked for me. You know, so it's like the stuff that they sell on television, it's a facade. It's like a fantasy. But a lot of people try to do a lot of stuff that, that they see on television. But you know, my parents, they were like, they were like local celebrities where I'm from. Like my mom, for example, she's well, she was a well-known lady around South Carolina, the entire state of South Carolina. She was a well-known lady. You know, at the time I was like, how, how does she get, got to know all these people? And my dad, he was kind of like, he was a well-known guy too, but not like my mom. And my mom and dad, they kind of balance out each other, you know, like, like yin and the yang type deal. And my dad, he was kind of flamboyant, laid back. You know, he, he asked a lot of questions, you know, to feel people out or whatever. And my mom, she was kind of like the opposite. She was high energy always laughing and smiling, cracking jokes. You know, my mom was multi-talented. She could speak, sing, dance, write, sew, cook. I can go on and on, you know. I mean, she could speak better than anything else. And, and you know, I didn't really know, and I didn't understand the impact and influence that my parents had on a lot of people in the neighborhood where I'm from. I didn't realize that until I got older. I didn't even realize what was going on when I was young because I didn't even look at it as game or I didn't look at it as, I just looked at it, hey, that's just how my parents get down. That's, that's, that's just how I looked at it. Cause my parents were like, like, they were like, my God, they were like bigger than life to me, you know? So I didn't look at it as game. I didn't really know what was going on until I got to be my mid twenties is when I figured out why they were doing what they were doing and, and, and why did it make a difference in so many, in so many people's lives. And I realized that My mom told me that you, you, we come in this world on our own, but we can't live this life by ourselves. We're not supposed to be independent and, you know, all this other crap that a lot of people be promoting within the mainstream media. We come in this world by itself, but we always going to need somebody. So to say that you're shy or, you are introvert or you're, you don't, you're antisocial. 
I just never really understood that. I never understood why people or how people function like that. My mom used to always say people that talk like that are very selfish at the, when I was a kid. And even at, at that time, I didn't really understand where she was coming from until I got older. And I realized that, you know, you can't, you can't be broke and be antisocial. It's either you're gonna have tons of money and be antisocial. Okay, that's cool. You can afford to do that. But you can't be antisocial and broke. And broken. That that just doesn't work. You know? Now is is the ideal the ideal way is to have tons of cash coming in and have people around you in your circle, your circle tight. Because you're only as strong as the people that you have around you. Now, I realized the reason why my mom uh, got to know so many people because that was like her secret recipe of getting things done. I realized this years later because back then people stuck together much more than they do today. You know, today the, the village is broken. It's destroyed. You know, it, it, it's, things have just done like a, it's like a, things have done taken a 180 today. You know, it's like people are not connected today because of technology has hurt and helped the situation and people don't write letters today as much as they used to if at all you know because of the internet and the technology has where where is too much way too many ways to communicate today you see back then it was either telephone a letter that's pretty much it or you see them in person that's it but today well you have my goodness you got skype email the post mail you got face to face uh on uh the iphone you got what skype you got an, an, an Fate, what for Facebook Live? You got YouTube. You got my goodness. You, I can go on and on. So things are things are different today, but some things stay the same. So you know what I learned from my parents is the the impact you can have on people and the influence you can have on people. That's what I learned from my parents. Now I, I met my first millionaire when I was 15. It's two of them. One were black, one were white. Now the white guy, what I learned from him is that I learned the concept of having a good team, a strong team and having the right people around you to push you forward because if you got the wrong people around you they're gonna hold you back so i learned that you're, you're only as strong as the people that you have around you and if you've been following me for a while you know that i i consistently been saying that and the the, the black millionaire i learned from him is he's a he was a hustling old man you know he was always trying to uh have or earn multiple streams of income and i realized what i learned from him more than anything else is the way he interacted with people i mean if he meets somebody if he met somebody for the first time he treated them like he kno known them all his life it wasn't like he didn't treat them like a stranger he he made them feel better about themselves 
that's the that, that's one of the biggest things I learned from the black millionaire. And I and that same concept I learned from my mom as well. Because my mom was very nerd she was very uh welcoming to people and she always made people feel good. She never really judged anybody regardless of uh, what type of person they may be. Even if she even if the, 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 the girl was a hoe or the the guy was a no good scumbag she never really made she always tried to try to find the good in everybody regardless of what she might have thought about them so I, I learned that i learned that to be so judgmental you know i learned the uh you have to see something in people that they don't necessarily see within themselves and back then I didn't really call this game this is just a way of life and that's basically all what game is game is just a fancy way of saying strategy to live your life in order to get certain things done without going through a bunch of BS. That's all it is, really. But back then, it wasn't nobody calling it a game. People were saying, hey, this is how we function. This is how a man's supposed to be. This is how a woman's supposed to be. And I had good examples, so that's where I came from. I came from, I grew up looking at multi-talented people. My mom was like, Everybody knew her. A lot of people loved her, cared about her. But then you got the haters too. A lot of people loved my dad. But then you got the haters too. But it was, and you know, both of them have, have passed on. So rest in peace to both of them. You know, I just re just remember all the good memories, man. The stuff that I learned from them is priceless you can't put a a dollar amount on it it's like the stuff that i learned from them it's like i'll have forever until i decide to pass it down to other people so that's where i came from i came from that family tree where it's like the best of the best you know it wasn't I I came from like trendsetters. I didn't come from like people that just take what they can get or just settle or just don't try to be the best. You know, just be antisocial, be average. Take it or leave it negativity i didn't come from that i didn't have examples like that growing up i mean i came i mean i was raised to if you want to do something go all out go all in i just don't do it at all so you know regardless of what i do in life i go hard all in all out you know, I'm not trying to, like, please anybody or make friends most of the time. If it happens, it happens, but I'm not, that's like, my, that's not my full intent is to make friends and please everybody and kiss ass. I didn't come from that. I came from a place where it's like, whatever you decide to do, go all in, go hard or go home. Or just don't bother. You know, some people have an attitude. It's like, oh, I'll just give it a shot and see what happens. No, I don't. I don't roll like that. I don't rock like that. You know, I don't believe in just being average. I don't believe that we were here. We were put here just to be mediocre. 
Hey, you know, I just, I just don't understand a lot of people today, males and females. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I know a lot of people have been beaten down. A lot of people grow up different from certain environments, but. When you get to a certain age, you got to be like, you got to shake that off. You got to move forward regardless. Keep moving forward regardless of what happens. And is it hard? You betcha. Whoever said it, everything was supposed to be easy anyway. Do times get tough? You betcha. Do you get tired? You betcha. Is everybody going to like you? Hell no. Can you please everybody? No. Can you make everybody happy? Hell no. Uh, are people going to be jumping up and down, patting you on the back, cheering, supporting you in everything you do? Hell no. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. <laughs> are you going to have all the support you need in the beginning? Hell no. I doubt it, but you got to do what you got to do. You know, and if you, you don't have to get, have everything right. You just got to get it going. And once you get it going, eventually the right people will show up. That's what it is. If you try, if you're sitting around waiting on the, all the pieces to show up, you're never going to get started. Regardless of what you're trying to do in life. Whether it's women or job or earning extra money or whatever the case is. You're never going to have all the, the pieces in the beginning. I don't care what it is. And this is why I started my other channel. Because you can't leave out the money you can't leave money out the of out of the equation when it comes to moving forward in life this is a capitalistic society so it's going to take a little bit of money how much money is it going to take i don't know depends on you depends on your lifestyle your way of being it depends on what type of person you are depends on where you live Depends on what type of guy you are. So it is what it is. So check out my other channel, the day job bailout plan. Go over there and subscribe and check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash sharp game. And I'm putting those links below. Go over there, subscribe and get all the games. So if you like what you heard, subscribe to my Patreon, get my books, check out my website, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.